Hiya, Real True Education, not fake news. It's the 5th of December 2021. There's a bit of a flicker on this. It's to do with the lighting situation here. I just want to bring up a, a topical subject on the internet at the moment is about electricity. And a lot of my videos uh, were to do with my um, giving out about wind energy and it's all coming to pass that it doesn't work the way they said. They're all broke and uh, we have very high, highest electricity prices in the world, but that's not the point here. This a particular video channel is a uh, Veritasium. Veritasium. This is 40A, as I say. And he, the chap, I think it's a man who is, uh, who is, uh, who's doing it, claims that electricity uh, doesn't run through wires as such, that it doesn't run uh, through wires, that it's some other way that it, uh, it, it runs in a different way. You can see it there yourself, but I just want to respond to it because it's very topical at the moment. When, when, you, when you produce electricity, it can be done in a battery by chemical means. In other words, the chemicals like the acid in the battery soaking into the lead cause electrons to leave the, the acid and flow through the conductors from the negative to the positive. They used to think it was the other way around. Uh, if they are connected, there is resistance. As the electrons try to go into the, the plates of the battery, as they come out, they resist this and they don't want to do it and they'll heat up the wire and they'll come back the other end. So what you really have is a resistance load. It's not a question that, that it'll flow through, just like a water, if you have a tank and you put a pump right around, it doesn't work that way. But, when electrics, electricity is made either in a battery or in a generator where you run a magnetic field past a, 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 a coil, it'll pick up the, 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 it'll cause the electrons in the coil to flow due to the magnetic field, electromagnetic induction. Now, it doesn't really matter what way it's doing it, but the, the electrons are pushed into the wire and they're pushed around the full circuit. And if they can, they'll resist that. And they come back down and round to the original circuit. They, they, but they don't flow uh, right away. Some people say in the paper, you'll see this, that electricity made in a power station 500 miles away is with you, it's a speed of light. It isn't. What, what it's done is it's pushed into the system, it's pushed into the cables. And if there were just one cable, two wires it's pushed in at one end and the electrons in the cable which already exist in the atoms in the copper or whatever the cable is made of those electrons are at rest they're spinning around but they're at rest they need some input of energy to make them move and that can be heat and that can be electricity and radio waves are actually where uh, the electrons are disturbed they're made go faster and they give out electromagnetic, electromagnetic radiation but when the electrons are pushed into the wire against their will, they push the electrons, the same as water in a pipe, they push them along, pushing the existing electrons in the direction that has been used. But it doesn't mean that they fly instantly to 500 miles away. That's not what happens. What happens is they move along and the, wire, the electrons at your end uh, are used and new ones are replaced. So if I have um, a, a hair dryer here and I press the button and the electricity has been made 500 miles away, the, the electrons fly around the circuit, but they don't come here instantly at the speed of light. That's not true. But the effect is at the speed of light, the effect. So they're pushed in down at, we'd say in Cork in Ireland, I, uh, we'd say, we'd go further than that, we'd say in France, and they're pushed in here to Ireland, and they move along that wire, but they do not move at, at the speed of light. They move uh, along the wire. Now, it must be remembered that a wire or a conductor is a totally artificial concept. In nature, the only electrical flow is in lightning. By and large, that's the only electrical flow that's worth talking about, where it, it comes instantly through static electricity. But but we make cables. We make a big, long piece of, of, of wire. Nature, that's alien to nature. Nature doesn't do that at all. We have found a way to, 
to create the electricity by a battery or, or induction and then into a coil and then we found a way to bring a big long string of copper wire using transformers and all of this away hundreds of miles away and electricity tries to get out it tries to escape it tries not to do it it heats up the wire but if we have it done right and we have it done cleverly it won't be able to avoid uh, coming and doing work for us so it has to run through the wire and there'll be a, there'll be a magnetic field around the wire and if that's made into a coil you'll have a magnet and there'll also be capacitance and uh, inducements and all that sort of thing we're not going to hear but uh, that's the key point remember that an, uh, a cable or a wire or a pylon cable is artificial it's not a natural thing it wouldn't occur anywhere in nature you might get a big tree hit by lightning and that's about the, the, the height of it so the conductor let it be copper or whatever uh, will carry the current for us uh, because we make it like that and the electricity has to comply the, the electrons come in at the point of input and they will flow along whatever is there but it's the actual electrons that we are using here we'll say from 500 miles away are in the wire already and it's like a water pipe if there was a if there was a, a a pump pumping water 100 miles away and i use the water here it'd take a long time for that water to come up the water that it win now mightn't reach here for maybe two weeks it'd be in the pipe moving now in practical terms other people would be using but if that's the case in an idealized model so i hope that that that, that explains it uh, um, it's for more or less the same as water in in a pipe pumped around and uh, that's that, that that's how it works so so um, hopefully that's a help and it'll help to add to the controversy that's on the go at the moment we'll do a bit of fun with it maybe on uh, on youtube or on the video so okay see you back thank you very much